How does Ford remain the top force in the automotive industry despite all the obstacles and challenges? Sure, there are a few hiccups, but let's be honest, pumping out rides in such massive numbers is bound to cause some speed bumps. But the Blue Oval crew knows how to smooth it out with cutting-edge innovation and gutsy decisions, like rolling out six brand new models that'll lock in Ford's spot as the king of the road. These are the new vehicles the company will start delivering in 2025. Ranger Hybrid, Power, Efficiency, and Versatility The 2025 Ford Ranger Hybrid pickup is coming out to stomp all over the Tacoma and its fancy iForce engine, and revolutionize the midsize truck segment with its combination of power, efficiency, and versatility. Already available in Europe, this model will land in the USA in a few months, featuring some modifications for the American market. At the heart of the European plug-in hybrid is a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor and a battery pack, delivering combined output of 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. That is right between the base setup and famous Raptor model that racks up to 400 ponies. The hybrid truck is expected to offer up to 6,600 pounds of towing capacity, ensuring it can handle most medium-duty hauling tasks with ease. A 10-speed automatic transmission has been finely tuned to complement the plug-in system. The electric motor provides a limited all-electric driving range, ideal for short city commutes. Some aspects of the truck's suspension and towing capabilities will be tweaked to meet the demands of American truckers. Super Duty Hybrid – The Future of Heavy Duty Power Ford is about to revolutionize not just the mid-size segment, but also the heavy-duty class with a hybrid drivetrain for the F-250, F-350, and F-450. What was once speculation is now confirmed, as sources within the Blue Oval Company reveal that hybrid power is coming to Super Duty trucks. While specific details remain under wraps, we know that production will take place at the Oakville Assembly Complex in Ontario, Canada. The upcoming Super Duty hybrid is designed to keep Ford at the top of the heavy-duty truck market, especially as competition heats up. Ram is installing new engines, including a powerful 7.2 diesel and a high-output 6.7 gas unit from Cummins, aiming to close the gap. To maintain its dominance, Ford is charging ahead with hybrid technology that promises to combine raw power with improved efficiency, something no other truck manufacturer currently offers in the heavy-duty class. Super Chief, the future of zero-emission power. In an era where too much focus is on emissions concerns, the Ford Super Chief emerges as a bold statement in the heavy-duty world. Originally unveiled as a concept in 2006, the vehicle has the potential to redefine what performance and eco-friendliness mean for the modern truck. Ford has recognized the growing demand for sustainable options without sacrificing power or towing capacity, and the Super Chief is poised to lead the charge. At the heart of the truck is its revolutionary Triflex fueling system, a technology that allows the truck to run on gasoline, ethanol, or hydrogen. This versatility positions the Super Chief as an architect of zero-emission technology for big trucks, enabling drivers to choose the cleanest fuel option available. A heavy-duty truck that finishes the toughest jobs while producing minimal emissions, that's what the Super Chief brings to the table. Excursion, the heavy-duty SUV's comeback. The Ford Excursion is holding a unique position in the automotive landscape as the only heavy-duty SUV. Built on the F-250 Super Duty truck platform, the vehicle was introduced in 2000 and remained in production until 2005, earning a reputation for its massive size and impressive capabilities. At the time of its launch, the Excursion was the largest SUV available for mass-market consumers, designed to meet the demands of families and adventurers alike. Over its production run, Ford moved more than 200,000 units, creating a fan base that's been itching for a comeback. And now, the timing couldn't be better. As the full-size SUV market continues to grow, Ford is going to reintroduce the Excursion in 2025, positioning it above the Expedition Max in its lineup. The new model is set to be an imposing presence on the road, stretching an impressive 230 inches in length. This gargantuan size not only enhances its appeal, but also ensures plenty of interior space across all three rows, comfortably accommodating up to eight or nine passengers. The new excursion is designed to be a pinnacle of both utility and luxury, expected to feature advanced safety technologies and an updated sync infotainment system for an enhanced driving experience. The heavy-duty SUV will be packed with several potent engine options. The standout will be the 7.3-liter V8 gas unit, nicknamed Godzilla, which generates 430 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. A slightly smaller drivetrain with good performance and improved fuel efficiency is on the cards. 
The Minizilla is a 6.8 V8 that delivers 405 ponies and 445 pound-feet. While the Super Duty truck lineup includes a high-output power-stroke turbo diesel, with maximum outputs of 450 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque, it is likely that such an option will be reserved for the heavy-duty trucks. However, even with a potential down-tuning, the oil burner could provide a class-leading towing capacity of around 15,000 pounds for the excursion, appealing to those who require serious hauling power. Expected to hit the market early in 2025, the new Ford Excursion is estimated to start at around $60,000. Its revival signals a strategic move by the company, tapping into a proven winner while answering today's consumer demands. Crown Vic, Action Movie Hero The Ford Crown Victoria was once a shining star of action films in the 1990s and 2000s, synonymous with high-speed chases and always hot on the heels of justice. Known for its durability and power, the car was a fixture in law enforcement, embodying the strength and reliability that officers depended on during their daily patrols. However, in 2012 production ceased due to economic pressures and cost-saving measures, leaving a void that enthusiasts have long awaited to fill. Now, the revival of the 2025 Crown Vic promises to start a new era, though it faces the challenge of preserving its iconic essence. As Ford embarks on this journey, one of the first notable changes is the size. The new vehicle will not be the behemoth it once was. Instead, the focus is on efficiency, resulting in a more compact design that aligns with modern automotive trends. Gone are the days of the ladder frame. Simplicity and practicality will be the driving forces behind new architecture. While the original Crown Vic was celebrated for its robust V8 engine, the 2025 model won't use such a configuration. Instead, Ford is likely to consider a turbocharged four-cylinder mill, or V6, with a hybrid system as a potential option. Despite some earlier fumbles with the police responder sedan, the company is now exploring fresh ways to bring the hybrid experience back into the mix. With lessons learned, Ford's looking to deliver a next-gen hybrid setup that can handle the heat. Also, the idea of an all-electric car has met with skepticism among fans, who remain attached to the internal combustion engine's roar. Restoring the image will be a long and challenging road. While its revival may spark nostalgia, the vehicle must find its footing in a world where modern SUVs and trucks dominate law enforcement fleets. For the Crown Victoria to reclaim its status, it may need a supporting role in action flicks once more, albeit in a new context. Bronco Plug-in, the ultimate off-road hybrid. The 2025 Ford Bronco Plug-in Hybrid is merging superb performance with improved fuel efficiency, appealing to a new generation of adventurers. The base model is powered by a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-banger, generating 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. For those who relish the thrill of driving, the Bronco offers the choice between a 7-speed manual transmission and a refined 10-speed automatic gearbox. However, despite its robust power, the standard Bronco achieves a poor fuel economy of only 21 miles per gallon, a figure attributed to its size and weight. That's what the plug-in hybrid model aims to improve. This innovative configuration doesn't only boost overall power and performance, but also enhances fuel efficiency. At least it should be so. Until the official details are out, estimates suggest that the Bronco plug-in hybrid could exceed 350 horsepower while achieving at least 25 miles per gallon. Additionally, there's potential for an all-electric range of approximately 30 miles. But, Ford might go all in. The engineering team could surpass expectations by adapting a 3-liter turbo V6 available on the Bronco Raptor. This retuning leads to the potential output of 500 ponies in the hybrid configuration, propelling the Bronco into the realm of high-performance SUVs.